Hi friends, it's Mrs. Tavani. Yesterday we read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Today we're going to make some fun crafts to go along with the book. So you can have your very own hungry little caterpillar puppet when you're all done with this craft. So first, before you start, you want to make sure you have all of your supplies. You want to make sure you have some glue, either Elmer's glue or a glue stick, a scissor, mom and dad can help you cut out the shapes, some tape, a pencil, maybe some markers if you want to color or make some designs. You also want to make sure you have a paper lunch bag like this, a piece of red construction paper, green construction paper, and yellow construction paper. And also what I found helpful to make some circles, I found some things around the house. Um, this is just a spackle container. You want to have one big one and then a smaller one. Um, you can use cans, maybe a candle, whatever you can find around the house. I find that's easier just to trace out a circle first before you cut it. Um, if you want to freehand it, you can do that as well. Um, so to get started, I've already cut out all of my shapes and everything. We're going to take our paper bag and lay it down flat. Make sure that this part that kind of flaps open is on the top. And then first you want to glue down your red circle. So I will do that. Put that on top. And then you want to take your green circles. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's going to be the body of your caterpillar. So you're going to glue those beneath the red circle. Put down one, two, and three on the bag like this. And then we're going to put the other three off to the side. So it looks like the caterpillar is kind of walking. So remember just a little bit of glue. You don't want to put too much glue on because then it will slide all over the place. So you're going to put it on kind of like this so the caterpillar body is off to the side. Once you have all those glued on, then we're going to put on the eyes. You're going to cut two oval circles out of the yellow paper and when you're cutting I find it's helpful to just take the piece of paper and fold it in half and then trace your shape. This way you don't have to cut as many times. Let's glue the yellow part of the eyes on first. And how many eyes do we have? We have two eyes, right? Just like our caterpillar friend. Then you can put some glue on the yellow parts and place the green in the middle of each yellow oval. So his eyes should look like this. Then we're going to put his little nose on. And glue his nose onto his face. And then the last thing we're going to do is take a pipe cleaner. Um, if you don't have a pipe cleaner, you could just cut out some pieces of green construction paper to make his antenna. But if you happen to have a pipe cleaner, whatever color it is, is fine. Um, I cut it in half and then I bent it into a V. And then I kind of bent near the tips about an inch or so to make the antennas. And then you're going to take your tape and just tape the antenna onto the back of the red circle. And there you have it, your very own little hungry caterpillar. Once he's all dry, your caterpillar can munch on some food. I have one banana for my caterpillar. He's going to eat it now. And I have an apple. After a while, when he eats, he gets bigger and bigger and bigger until he makes his cocoon, right? And then he'll turn into a butterfly. So check back and I'll have another video for you on how you can make your own butterfly. Hope you enjoyed.